long. Everyone exceeds expectations. We too, we too, we are in the school of imagination. No fail, no grade, just to eat for Do you mind talking to me on film? Sure, I can talk to you. <laughs> well, let's, maybe this will be a thumbnail. What's your name? I'm Janine Breck. Janine, uh, do you have your social media somewhere that I can put on this uh, segment? I have a little business card right here. I just want to grab it so that we'll make sure people know how to get a hold of you. Janine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so which part so is yours? Ah, there you are. So tell me about your work. So I work with a lot of fluid mediums, so alcohol ink, India ink, acrylic inks. Um, I also do some paintings as well. Okay. Uh, but a lot of it started as an you know art therapy oh, okay. when I just kind of needed to get away from things and just, it was, I called it my yoga. Okay. So this sort of started from that and then it's really grown <laughs> and, and I've just it? kept building up yeah. the size. Uh, Did you go about uh, getting something uh, traumatic in your life or just the stress of the no, every day? No, no, I, uh, I work in the financial industry. Okay. And I needed something that was just the opposite. Uh, yeah. So it kind of became yeah, just a way to relax. Where people kind of go for a run or they go and do yoga. I would come here and I would get lost in color and movement, and I put my music on, and I'd have a little dance party and something. When did it start? Well, I've done art for as long as I can remember. Good. And I started with this particularly about three and a half years ago. Okay. This when you with, this with type ink. of art? Yeah. With ink. So ink. Yeah. And so before I used to do more abstract, um, which I'll probably get back to at some point, but horses and um, so I like have subjects that I would paint. Okay. Uh, when did, uh, rather, what caused this to come to the finished product? What inspired you? What inspired me? What? It's very intuitive. Okay. So a lot of the times, like certain things will inspire me. The greens I really got into after I did a trip to Bali. Oh, okay. And just the color. Then Sapar? Yes. Oh my god, yeah. Chengu, did you go to Chengu? I did. Yes, I love I it. I did. Um, I really fell in love with Ubud. Yeah. But just being in the jungle and the colors and the greens and. So I, yeah, I kind of all this. All kind of this thought, kind of came from that. Sorry? Okay. And then I just kind of. I've, Kind of stuck to those. And I just felt more than I ever have. I've always been in love with blues. I find them very calming and very relaxing. Yeah. And then a lot of the times when I work, it's it's intuitive. So whatever. So water, tropics. Yeah. All those kind of colors in here. Yeah, very, and I've got some earthy behind you. Here. Oh, we have. Very cool. 
See what happens. So sometimes when you're, at the end of the night, I don't love it. Sometimes I'm, you know, obsessed with it. When you're finished doing that financial thing, yeah. will this become everything then, in terms of? Who knows? Who knows? I don't have a crystal ball yet, but I've been looking for one. <laughs> You've been hoping for one. You know someone. <laughs> I know a guy. I'm in the market. <laughs> I think I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> Yeah, in the market, in the market. And then I just started doing these. Okay. So this, when I was kind of a little bit stumped, I felt like I'd just work on something different. So I started painting a thing. And tell me about it. Um, inspired by my mother, okay. who is very big in gardening and okay. floral. She's an orchid grower. Okay. Wow. And Those yeah, are difficult. They are. All my dead orchids I take to her, and she brings them back to life. But uh, yeah, so I, I wanted to do kind of a collection with the abstract and the movement behind, but kind of a, an ode to mom. Okay. Yeah, so this is... This is probably going to slowly evolve into my next collection. This this will be another wall. Yeah. So Very I'm going to cool. start working on some bigger, bigger versions. <laughs> if um, I was to ask you the future, and I know we don't have crystal ball, like we know a guy. Okay. But with respect to your art, what what is something that would be beyond belief if it were to happen? Uh, and it's something you dream about or would love to see happen or something that would excite you. It would be the ball hit out of the park. All the time. I would love to do really big art. Okay. And I would love to have a big studio that I can throw really amazing art parties where people can come and enjoy the art but enjoy the experience I would love to host other artists so people can kind of come out there Vancouver doesn't have much of an art culture here so working in finance I work on the corporate side of things and a lot of people have no idea that this world exists right and then when I try to marry those it's amazing because they they love it and right. they don't get to see it all the time and they think it's exciting and fun and everyone goes to a bar and a nice restaurant they can do that right. but to come out to an art event and an art show and be immersed in it I would love to create more of that. Do you know Yared Nagusu? I sure do. So I've he was done... one of my first mentors when I did my first art battle. <laughs> so I've done a YouTube with him on yeah. my channel and uh, it's one I like to go back and watch myself. I yeah. enjoyed my time with him. And He's as great. you were describing your ideal situation in the future, I think you, since you already know him, you should revisit. And he's got a nice little studio there, 49th and Main. Yep. And we did the YouTube in there. And uh, he's done, he had done some big pieces that I think are down Waterfront Station or mm -hmm. somewhere. And, um, but it would be something cool for you guys to collaborate. Yeah, well, I uh, I definitely would love to take some time off of finance and focus more on this, but <laughs> hey, it's, it's a long life. It's a long life. It is, but I just told somebody um, down the hall, life is real short. So, you know, things make sense or even don't make sense. You just go ahead and take a step. Do what you're going to do today. Good advice. <laughs> that's good advice. Ooh, that's gonna stick with me. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> There's absolutely no what charge. Name? We didn't actually officially. Name. Danny. Danny. Advisor Danny is my channel. You are amazing. This is my dad, Dan. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. And when I was younger, as like you are, I was called Danny. You know, I I've been in 116 countries. I was living in Japan. I came back to visit my mom three years ago, May almost three years, next May, and got locked in here. And then I started doing this. But in Japan, because I have two clients there that are small business owners, that's my life's work, helping small business owners do something international that they want to do. <laughs> they said, you are like an advisor, so you should call yourself Advisor Danny. And I said, that's a good idea. We'll in, brand it that. I like that. In, <laughs> in China, I used to be called Dr. Danny. Why? Because I was a technical uh, sales for a pulp mill. Oh, and I was I showing the paper makers how to how to use it, this and they all amazing. call me Dr. Danny. No. <laughs> I'm Jessica Craig. 
Yeah. Jessica Craig, I see Craig Studios here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Craig Studios. Craig Studios. Um, maybe the world has caused them a lot of pain that they haven't been able to process. Yeah. No? No, I think you're, you're very much onto it. Sometimes I always love to hear like your side view because once I tell you that it, it begins to shape your perception, which is nicer to actually hear yours first. How are you? Do you mind being on camera? What is this, live stream? No, no, it's going to be a YouTube. YouTube? Uh, little spots of different artists oh. and uh, Tamami. A I, musician. I would love to paint you. Oh, for the musician. You want to paint me? Yeah, we'll draw you. Look Ad over, yeah. Advisor Danny, you Advisor. can find me all social media, oh, wow. and we'll schedule a time, and I'll come do it. I'm maybe twenty-five thousand oh, dollars. Wow. Or free. Okay. Which price do you like? Uh, the free. <laughs> I don't need to paint it. I just love your complex, but like when I ask someone to talk, <laughs> that's so weird to ask for no where, where are you no. originally from? I'm Egyptian. Egyptian? Yeah. I've been in uh, Alexandria. Oh, interesting. A wonderful time there. Yes? With dear friends Shadi Tafik. Shadi Tafik? Yeah. Everyone exceeds.